Good evening, 47. The militia has released a hostage tape, outing the existence of Providence to the world. This was a fatal mistake, and our analysts are tracing its origin as we speak. In the meantime, we have a lead on Lucas Gray's top lieutenant. Turns out the Delgado cartel's counterfeiting unit was creating fake IDs for the militia, and one operative in particular stands out, Wazir Kale, an infamous South China Sea pirate better known by his nom de guerre, the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom and his cutthroat band of outlaws were the scourge of the shipping industry in the post-recession years. But his reign of terror came to an end with the disastrous 2014 hijacking of the supertanker, Francis King. Chinese elite forces stormed the ship, resulting in the deaths of a dozen sailors and most of the Maelstrom's crew. But Kale slipped away unseen. The Maelstrom's connection to Grey is unknown, but we believe it was he who carried out the audacious killing of a Providence CEO in Shanghai, along with two reactivated members of his old pirate gang, Fania Shaw, a shady figure in Mumbai's criminal underworld, and Darwood Rangan, the gang's old cashier turned dodgy movie producer. Shaw, Rangan, and the Maelstrom form Lucas Gray's Eastern Cell. They are a crack strike team, and stopping them is our client's most pressing concern. Unfortunately, the elusive Maelstrom appears to have vanished into the seedy underbelly of Mumbai, the cradle of his criminal legend, and no one knows his whereabouts or what he currently looks like. So, a bandit queen, a showbiz charlatan, and one certifiable ghost. I shall leave you to prepare. Welcome to Mumbai, 47. One of the most densely populated cities in the world, home to more than 12 million people. If you wanted to disappear and hide from the world, this vast city is perfect. The maze-like sprawling slums offer secret paths and surprises around every corner. The elusive Maelstrom knows the city like the back of his own hand. Locating him will be a considerable challenge. A place to start could be the slums where his former gang, the Crows, has recently risen from the ashes. Darwood Rangan will be easy to find in his half-finished tower, wrapping up his new film called Mumbai Hero. While Vanya Shah has ensconced herself in the overgrown remains of an old train yard. Your three targets call this labyrinthine part of the city home, so choose your approach carefully. Forty-seven. The street gang known as the Crows are on high alert. They seem to be on the lookout for potential assassins and will be suspicious of anyone they don't recognize. I suggest you are mindful around them in the slums. Forty-seven. Our intel suggests the Maelstrom is hiding somewhere in the city slums. I've marked the headquarters of the Crows on your map.
Let's be. It is imperative you notify me as soon as Sarkar's mother is open again. He's an excellent source of information, and I want to make sure he has it. Dial's group is working for me now. Signal me at once when the shop is open. That is one. I'll try it, Bad Madam. Any idea why the boss wants to know when the barber shop is open again? Yeah. Saga, the barber, has a side business dealing in information. He basically has every snitch in the slum sharing the news with him. Boss wants him on our side. Barbie even came down to the hideout to be shown a picture of the boss so he'd recognize him when meeting him. Yeah, all the secrecy is so strange. You know the boss. This barber is tangled up in some shady business, 47. But even more interesting, he may have seen a picture of the Maelstrom. He says having a secret identity is key to what he does. But I honestly don't understand what he means. The guy's a bit of a mystery to me. Yeah. Vilify your motivations and your actions. You know, they have burned marks of stigma on your bodies and your minds, poisoning your perception of what is truth and what is lie. My warriors, they have been doing this for centuries, manipulating you and everyone around you, forcing you to accept their truths as yours. Well, 
There is a storm coming, and it will uproot everything they stand for. Delving straight into the heart of darkness, 47. Good luck. A photograph and a note addressed to Sagar the Barber. This looks like a very recent picture of the Maelstrom. 
With this in hand, picking him out in a crowd should be possible. You could also investigate the barbershop and see what is going on there. understand how the signal Forty-seven? That man there. He resembles the Maelstrom. Try to get close to him for a visual ID. like him, but that's not the Maelstrom. No, that isn't the Maelstrom. 47. That nose. Those eyes. That can only be Wazir Kale, the Maelstrom. Identification confirmed. wanted me to provide information to, you know, their boss. They showed me his picture in their hideout two days ago. But I was so stressed out. I thought they were going to kill me or something. I, I can't remember his face. What if he shows up and, and, I, and I miss him? Then you should go and explain it to them. They probably still have the picture. There. But what if they hurt me? What will happen to you? Or if they decide to burn down the shop like they did with that other guy with the metal recycling, I won't do it. Pavi, I told you we would get into trouble with this snitching business. But you had to go and earn some easy money sharing information. Your mess, you fix it.
How are you, sir? All right, 47. We're open for business. We know what the Maelstrom looks like and expect him to show up. Patience and shaving cream is what's on the menu now, 47. is to me. Thank you. I'd like to get a shave if possible. for your shave, sir. Thank you, my friend. Infamous Maelstrom is dead. Very well done, 47. No rest for the wicked, however. On to the next one. I explained to his employee that Miss Shah wants to meet with him, but he claimed that the tailor wasn't available. So you didn't just go inside and look? Only the Royal Guard can do stuff like that. I'm sure Miss Shah will send someone with more hands-on experience than me. He's the only tailor in town that can make that damn dress. That's what happens when you drown all the others, I guess. It appears Vanya Shah is in the market.
Excellent. Let's find out what kind of dress a woman like Vanya Shah wants. Greetings, sir. Can I interest you my Uh-huh. Shah wants a cerulean dress, 47. Perhaps you will be able to source a roll of the right fabric at the local cloth market. Greetings, sir. Can I... Shah wants a cerulean dress, 47. Perhaps you will be able to source a roll of the right fabric at the local cloth market. of these. Ah, your back. Ah, my friend, you have chosen well. Now, we have the best prices here. What do you say to 140 rupees per running meter? Does that sound fair? <laughs> no? Nothing? Ah, I can see you're a man of refined taste and a skilled haggler. My kids will only eat rice tonight, but it's yours for 105 rupees. Then. It's a deal, yes? It's a deal. Ah, good, good. Take any of Great. Thank you. Come again. Ah. Ah, it's you. Did you bring the cloth for Miss Shah? Yes. I have it right here. About bloody time. Come with me. Oh, don't be alarmed, by the way. Miss Shah takes security very seriously, so the guards will search you. Not to worry. Come on. Let's see what you have in your pockets today. Hold that position. We'll be done in no time. Go. 
Go on ahead. Miss Shah has been dying to meet you. It's not wise to keep her waiting, you know. I won't disappoint her then. That is a good idea. She's not been happy with the other tailors. A word of warning. Just play along with her eccentricities. She can be rather dangerous. Thank you. I'll do my best. Good man. Do well and there will be a lot of money in it for you. I know. It's you. Yes, I have it right here. Are you really About bloody time. Come with me. Oh, don't be alarmed, by the way. Miss Shah takes security very seriously. So the I'm afraid your you honest look isn't it. going to cut it here. I'm going to have to frisk you, pretty boy. Just stand still, and it'll be over soon. Right then, off you go. Hey there. Miss Shah has been dying to meet you. It's not wise to keep her waiting, you know. I won't disappoint her then. That is a good idea. She's not been happy with the other tailors. A word of warning. Just play along with her eccentricities. She can be rather Hi there. dangerous. Thank you. I'll do my best. Good man. Do well and there will be a lot of money in it for you. I know. Mind yourself. Here we are. Just go through there. Are you coming on? Because I don't want this. Here we are. Just go through there, please. The queen is waiting for you in the garden. That is Vanya Shah, self-appointed queen of the Mumbai slums. Your husband is dead, is he not? Yes, he is. Two years now. And your children are already working elsewhere in the city. Yes, but you have nothing to offer me then, Mrs. Banerjee. I'm sorry, but water and power are precious assets here. I barely have enough for my own needs. You will have to make do with what you have. I understand. Thank you, my queen. Ah, the elusive dealer. Here at last. Let's have a look at the cloth you've chosen. I want to make sure the color is the right. Excellent. Finally, some progress here. Come with me. I want you to take my measurements while you're here. Smart work, 47. Shah will want to have privacy when measuring for the dress. I'll leave the final execution up to you. Measuring right away. If you didn't give a tape, I would just let you hear the tape is left as behind. You can use that. I'm ready. Begin your measurements now. Relax your back, please, Miss Shah. 
I'll just measure your arms now, Miss Shar. Turn around, please, Miss Shar. I need to measure shoulder to shoulder. Confirmed kill on Vanya Shaw. Excellent work, 47. What's the hold up? Get on with it. Relax your back, please, Miss Shah. I'll just measure your arms now, Miss Shah. Turn around, please, Miss Shah. I need to measure shoulder to shoulder. Confirmed kill on Vanya Shaw. Excellent work, 47. Just one target left. Let's bring this one home. of another dead body. This is my first potential audience.
Hey, excuse me. You know who Gregory Arthur is, right? The famous American actor? Have you seen him around the city? No? Please tell him to come see me if you do. He's got a photo shoot inside the tower, and Mr. Rungan does not like to wait around. Gregory Arthur, a famous broad... I'm picking up Gregory Arthur's cell phone signal. He's close by. I'm sweating and cold. Maybe it's... Oh, maybe it's food poisoning or something. Ooh, this is bad. Train. Gotta find somewhere. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, um, uh, whatever. Interesting look, 47. Well, Darwood Rangan is at the tower expecting Mr. Arthur any minute now. No need to keep him waiting. Interesting look, 47. Well, Darwood Rangan is at the tower expecting Mr. Arthur any minute now. No need to keep him waiting. Hey, what's up?
exactly enjoying this either, so just stay still and we'll be done soon. Okay, you're good to go. I'm here. Excellent. This means we can get on with it. Good. Good. This area is off limits. Good. I thought you don't show yourself around here anymore. When are you gonna be done mixing those colors? I mean, how long is it gonna take? You know, my brother directed me. The camera work alone is magnificent. I mean, obviously, I'm a little tainted by my profession, but I think everything from the lighting to the cinematic tools used was just amazing. Is it true it's loosely based on... How's everyone? Ready for the photo shoot? I know I am, so let's do this. Great, folks. You all look great. Focus on me now. So, Miss Hassan, I guess you're ready for another round of Mumbai Heroes soon. I've got big plans for us. Hmm? Big plans. I'm sure you do. I think you will need to talk to my agent about that. Ah, agents. I never did like them. Deco, I prefer the more direct approach. Acha. Well, I'm hopefully kicking off some international roles soon, so my availability may be limited. I see. Well, I certainly hope nothing should happen that would prevent you from pursuing your goals, Miss Hassan. Great work! Now, if we could do a few shots of just Mr. Arthur and Miss Hassan, please. Arthur? And Hassan? As if they're that important. I suggest we do another round of solo shots of the guy who gets first billing. Me! <laughs> if you say so. Mr. Thunder. Uh, I do, I do say so. Come, come, shoot. Oh, Gregory, stick around, huh? I want to talk to you when I'm done here. All right, people, get off the stage. It's time for the big guy to do his magic. Excellent, 47. It looks like Rangan wants a private word. I suggest you humor How the man. Like this. Hmm? Well done, Mr. Rangan. That's excellent. Oh, maybe this way is good, huh? The women really like this pose. <laughs> Are, when I pull off this look, all housewives in a two-mile radius will faint automatically. You're a natural at this, Mr. Rangan. All right. I think that's enough beauty shots for one day. Great. That's a wrap, then. Champagne for everyone. Are Mekarao, great things will come from this movie, guys. Let me tell you, I've got a feeling that this one is the one that will make me famous. You know, it just goes to show that hard work and dedication is what is needed in this business, yeah. Mr. Rangan, 
You wanted to see me. Ah, Gregory. Yes, yes. Come with me upstairs. I have something important to talk to you about. Would you mind taking a few steps back? Oh, Gregory, so Gregory. Help. As you know, there's a lot at stake with a production like this. Hmm? Everyone needs to play ball. We are on the same team after all. But it's important to establish a pecking order. Soon or all of Mumbai will be mine. I'm sure you can imagine what that means. Okay, Gregory. I just need my friend here to pat you down. Don't want any recording devices or things like that accidentally going off. Hmm? I'm sure you understand. Sir, if you want to pass through, I need to check that you're not carrying anything dangerous. <sighs> Sir, I'm just doing my job. I gotta pat you down. Sorry about that. Clean as a whistle, sir. Go on. Here's the deal. And don't interrupt me, all right? I hate being interrupted. You're a smart guy, I know that. Big deal back in America. But the thing is, I don't like you. I don't like the way you dress, the way you behave yourself around the women on set, or the way you try to steal my thunder. I'm willing. Overlook all of this, Gregory, because we can do great things together. However, and this is very important. If you ever try to take my place, if you ever think you can become bigger than Daud Rangan, you're in for a world of work. I will destroy you and your family. Dawood Rangan is confirmed killed. Mission completed. Time to find... Find an exit. Sorry, Mr. Arthur. You'll have to wait until Mr. Rankin leaves. I'm not really comfortable with your proximity right now.
According to records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. It looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs are almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. 